But it's an obviously a, a, a great fight last time out, but I know you didn't get the result that you wanted in it. But what did you take away from that fight? Man, that fight's hard, man. Hard for me because I know I'm much better than that guy, you know. But it's over, you know. I've won this game for a long time. I know you can win, you can lose. And, but it motivated me a lot because I know it can be much, much better. That's why I'm here. I'm ready to, to get my W. I like it. I was wondering, I mean, at this point in your career, can you still take lessons? I mean, are you still learning things from fight, or, or, or have you seen everything at this point? No, I still learn every single day. That still motivates me because, like I said, I still learn every single day, not only in the training, but in the fight, too. And the most important when you learn, you get better. And I'm really feeling better every single day. Now they give you an undefeated opponent on his way up. What do you think of Bryce as a fighter? Had you been watching his career? Mm, he's a great fighter, you know. He's undefeated. Uh, he's a great fighter, you know. He's young, hungry. Uh, it's motivated me a lot because, like I said, I was in UFC for a long, long time. And still have opportunity to fight against the best guys in the world. That's making me very, very happy. Do you enjoy it or do you kind of dread it that they give you these young guys, right? It's these young, hungry guys. They want to beat you so they can make a name for themselves. Do you like that or, or do you wish you were facing maybe more veteran fighters? No, I love that. I love that. Yeah, I think the most important, I love fight. <laughs> I really don't worry about, you know, young or older, you know, motivate, blah, blah, blah. I love fight. doesn't matter. Whatever you have said, give me. A, I was very happy because I really love my job. Uh, he says he doesn't want to be called a grappler. You know, he's a fighter, and he doesn't think it's just his grappling. What do you think? Is, is, do you see this as striker versus grappler, or do you think he can stand with you a little bit? Man, it's MMA fight, you know. That's what I learned on this game. You need to be ready for everything, you know. And that's how I was training super hard for this fight. I was, you know, training my striking, training my grappling, my wrestling, everything. And... Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. I'm very excited. Fighting in front of a, a big arena again, big crowd, right? Big pay-per-view event. Uh, is that still exciting for you at this point in your career? Yes, of course. Uh, it's different when you fight, you know, in front of the people. And I'm very motivated, especially for this one, because my wife is going to be here to watch me. And very excited, very, very happy. Is that a little nerve-wracking for her when she comes to watch you fight? Does it make her nervous? Or? Yeah, no, she always comes. Me and my wife were together for 18 years, and she always comes. But she got pregnant, have a baby. When my, my son born, he stopped. And she stopped. But she's mom come to help her. She's mom's going to be here to, with the kids, and she's going to be there to support me. And... Like I said, I'm very happy because I, really, I think she's the most important part of the team, you know, because she stay with me full time, you know, you know, about everything. Yeah. I'm very motivated, you know, if I want to win, I want to give this fight for her. Nice. Last thing for me, I guess, what's the goal here? I mean, is it just winning a fight, of course, but I mean, do you feel like you need to send a message that, hey, I still belong here, you got to do a highlight reel knockout to show you're still capable? What's, what's the goal? I really believe I, I don't need to prove nothing for nobody anymore, you know? I was in UFC for a long time. I, bro, I fought against everybody. Whatever UFC gave me, I fought. I'll, I'll always make weight. I always, you know, do everything right. And I don't need to prove nothing. I think it's one more fight. I want to get my W. I want to give my best there, like always. Uh, and that's it. So right here. At one point earlier in your career, you were the undefeated young fighter in the UFC, and then when you faced your first loss. So, uh, what was the biggest difference in mindset approaching your next fight before and after, before being undefeated, and after your first loss? Uh, in MMA, uh, because I was starting kickboxing in Muay Thai again, defeating kickboxing Muay Thai when I. Uh, switch for MMA, I was like, okay, I know, I, I know how to feel when I lost, you know. But yeah, when you're undefeated, it's different, you know. You think you are, you are the really best guy in the world. You think you can, nobody in the world can beat you because you beat you, everybody put in front of you. But 
the world is not like that, you know. It's not many people under 50, you know, they retire under 50, not many people. And, yeah, it's going to be good to put the first L, the first loss on his career. Son still playing baseball? Sorry? Is your son still playing baseball? No, my son, he, 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 he stopped with baseball. He start, he play flag, like American football. He love it. And the season stopped. Now he's play soccer. And a couple of days ago in his school, somebody asked him, I think the, the, the teacher asked him, uh, he said, it's going to be, a, I want to be a soccer player. <laughs> So do you think this one will stick? Because I remember a few years ago you said he was into jiu-jitsu and then he quit jiu-jitsu to do baseball and now he's quit baseball to do, fo to do soccer now. He do everything. The, the guy asked me today about him, about my son, and I said, I don't know what he's going to do in the future. But one thing I know, he's going to be athlete. For sure. 100%. Uh, he very... Because he's seven, if you see him, him, the other kids at the same age, he's, he's taller, stronger, faster. He always have advantage for, for you know. And he's going to be athlete. I want to be on his side, support him. Edson down here. In January, I believe it was a 10-year anniversary of the phenomenal spinning uh, wheel kick knockout of, uh, of Terry Yetham. I mean, are you surprised that the time has gone by that quickly? Because, I mean, it just seems like yesterday that that happened. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I look behind like, wow, that's 10 years. That's making me think about, not only about the fight, we can think about the life, you know? Because I know one, th one day it's going to be over. Everything. It's going to be not only my, f my career or, you know? This one, one, one day it's going to be over. Made me think about and enjoy every moment. That's what's here. I really enjoy every moment. Enjoy the weight cut. Enjoy everything. Because I know one day it's going to be over. That's it. That's where I'm going. Yeah, okay. And I was about to say, like, uh, I know obviously you meant to, to, to land the kick on, on Terry, but what was your initial reaction when you actually connected flush? I mean, I was very happy. I was like, okay, thank God, one more knockout, it's over, the fight's over. That's what I think about. And, the, and after that, I was thought, like, oh man, I think that's gonna really change my life. I really believe when I signed in the UFC, when, I, that, when I, that knockout really changed my life. You know, there a lot of people have no idea who I, who, who's Edson Barboza, but if you Talk about that guy, like, oh, you remember that guy, the spinning kick? He, oh, I know. You know, it really changed my life. You're on a, a card with a massive main event between Jorge and Kobe. I'm curious, how do you see that fight going, and do you have a preference as to who would win that fight? Sorry? Who do you think wins the main event? Jorge. Jorge Mahavidal. Uh, he's my teammate. He's representing American top team. Want to fight? Go straight to the locker room to watch the fight because it's going to be a great fight. I'm very excited for the main event. Is that how everyone at American Top Team feels because of Kobe and because of all the things he used to say there? I can't say for, for the people from the American Top Team, but I want to be there to support Jorge Marvidal for sure. Edson, tudo bom? Fazer em português aqui bem rápido. Primeiro, queria falar da luta em si. Você vai enfrentar um atleta invicto. O quanto que a sua experiência pode ser fundamental nesse sábado? Acho conta muito, né, cara? É, são muitos, muitos, muitos quilômetros rodados, né? Então, acho que vai, 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 vai fazer diferença ali, cara. A experiência que eu tenho, a, a, toda a bagagem que eu tive de lutar contra os melhores do mundo na categoria de cima, agora eu estou tendo a oportunidade de lutar na categoria de baixo, Vai pesar, cara. Acho que ele vai sentir isso e, e vai ser um, um, uma das coisas que vai me impulsionar para essa próxima vitória. Sobre o casamento de estilos, né? Como você acha que o que você espera dele como adversário? Como você vê a luta desenrolando no octógono? Então, cara, eu acho que o que vai ser uma guerra. A gente vai vou tentar bater nele, vai tentar bater e é uma luta de MMA, né, cara? Muita gente fala sobre isso. É, ah, é um striker contra o um grappler. Mas é uma luta de MMA, me preparo para onde que a luta for, eu tenho que estar pronto. Então, como você falou, isso vem com a minha bagagem. Eu sei que eu tenho que me preparar em todas as áreas. Então, 
Não importa, sinceramente, onde que a luta vai estar, eu sei que eu vou estar pronto. Bom, você mencionou que você já enfrentou praticamente todos os tops de duas categorias. Uhum. E tiver um cenário parecido com o dos Anjos também, alguns uhum. outros lutadores, o Charles, enfim. Sim. É, esse cenário não é o mais comum e usual hoje em dia. Muitos lutadores optam por uma diferente, um diferente estilo de gerenciamento de carreira. Sim. Você já pensou, já foi uma opção para você gerenciar a sua carreira de forma diferente? Não só enfrentar top atrás de top atrás de top, talvez tentar o caminho mais longo com alguns lutadores menos ranqueados? Então, cara, eu amo lutar. Eu acho que uma das coisas que muita gente fala que eu fiz errado na minha carreira foi lutar contra qualquer um. Todo cara que o meu manager falou comigo, falou, ó, oh, vou te oferecer esse cara pra você lutar. Ou vou te oferecer, não, o UFC oferecer ele, ó, oh, tem esse, tem esse. Eu falei, Alex, eu não quero saber, eu quero lutar. Pode ser uma das coisas que eu fiz errado de, de talvez, é, não ter chegado mais perto do cinturão. Mas eu não me arrependo, não, cara. Muito pelo contrário. Toda vez que eu lutei foi porque eu quis. Então, não faria nada diferente, não. Acho que eu faria a mesma coisa. Eu amo lutar, eu continuo amando isso demais. E quem vai ser colocar na minha frente, eu vou lutar. Para finalizar, então, é, a gente sabe que você é da América Top Team, você já treina com o Masvidal, já viu o Kobe lá. Como você acha que a luta vai desenrolar e quem seria o favorito para esse combate? Acho que vai ser uma, uma grande luta. É... Eu nunca tive, eu não sou amigão do, do, do Jorge Marvidal, mas a gente tem muito respeito, a gente se fala aí, beleza, já tive a oportunidade de treinar junto com ele, a gente tem a oportunidade de treinar junto sempre, e é um cara muito legal. O Kobe, do tempo que eu fiquei lá na América do Aptim, eu nunca, acho que eu nem olhei para a cara dele, cara, porque ele nunca olhou para a minha cara, então não faz diferença. Para mim, ele estando lá, não estando lá, para mim, não era a mesma coisa. E... Vai ser uma guerra, vai ser um lutaço, cara. Vai ser uma luta, estou muito excitado. Sou, além de ser lutador, sou fã de luta e tenho certeza que vai ser uma grande luta, mas minha torcida é toda para o Masvidal, pode ter certeza. 